Welcome aspiring filmmakers of the new Hollywood generation. My name is Orlando Delbert. This is Hollywood Unapologetic. Today I want to speak about filmmaking essentials, film distribution basics, distribution strategy, and the new Hollywood generation. If you haven't watched the episodes from the playlist, Filmmaking Essentials, New to Film Distribution, start here. I'll have a link at the end of this episode for you to check out. Want to succeed in filmmaking? It's an honest question. I ask this because so many filmmakers I've known and met over the years don't develop a distribution strategy during the development stage of film production. Something I cannot stress enough throughout this series, how you see your film distributed is a major key to be a successful filmmaker. And making strides to get there can make or break your success. What's very important for you to know at this stage, for your film to ever be considered by any distributor, they look at how to best maximize any and all possible revenue streams across multiple platforms. This becomes their one and only goal. Film distributors create a coordinated strategy which begins through marketing campaigns way before your film's release. Keep this in mind. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. As part of your distribution strategy, you should plan for possible distribution opportunities being split up. Let's say as part of a split rights deal, you have an offer for your film to be seen on television in a country in Europe. Or perhaps an offer comes along for the rights to DVD sales. Based on the distributor's set criteria, they may decide which national and territorial rights they may want for your project. Also, as part of your distribution strategy, you may want to consider a service deal. A service deal is when a filmmaker hires someone who specializes in the distribution process. Of course, there's a fee, but they set up your preview screenings and handle getting agents to the venues. They also handle the publicity and advertising side of things. The cool thing about this is the more you're involved, the better the chances of getting your project distributed. As part of your distribution strategy, you should keep in mind your screenings and everything that goes along with it will cost quite a bit. Screenings can be expensive. The theater owner will want a chunk of the admissions. That's a given. But you also have to factor in the cost of your marketing campaigns. Whether that's on social media or buying ads in magazines and newspapers, there will be a dollar amount that needs to be included in your budget and in your planning. The upside for a theatrical release is it gives your film the opportunity for critical exposure in newspapers and public attention. The more public attention your project has, the perceived value of your film goes up. Another part of your distribution strategy is accepting the bigger your distribution offer, the less control you have. With very, very few exceptions, you may have to learn quickly how to play ball. The distributor holds all of the keys, and they only want to maximize the return on their investment. They can recut your film and do whatever they want. Make sure you have a clear understanding on what the approval process is for key marketing decisions before signing anything. Another part of your distribution strategy, no marketing campaigns are expensive. Set a limit. There may seem obvious to some of you, but as part of your strategy, you should have a limit to how much you're willing to spend on your campaigns. This is especially true if in your distribution deal you have a split of profits after expenses. If you don't have a set limit, you can say goodbye as profits fade away. Another part of your distribution strategy, expect a long wait time for your check in the mail. There's a waiting game to see your money, if there is any money for you, that is. The distributor waits to get paid by the exhibitor, um, the theater owners, for the screenings. If you sold the rights to DVD sales, the wait will take even longer. Expect a year, even a few months past that, to see something. Retailers put a hold on any cash going out to account for any unsold items. One more thing, before rushing to go to the streaming digital route for distribution, keep in mind that very little reporting of revenue is shared to filmmakers. More times than not, you might not see anything other than their initial license fee offered to you, and that most likely will be very small. Another part of your distribution strategy, research reputable aggregators. On the positive side, reputable aggregators take your film and get it ready for digital distribution. What that means is they handle the encoding so your film can be seen in a large variety of ways. Then they do the legwork and selling it for you. On the negative side, the aggregators take a big chunk out of what's left by the digital platform with their fees, as well as some aggregators submit to other larger aggregators. This just adds another layer of fees, even less money for you. And when I mention research reputable aggregators, sometimes they can take your money and disappear. Poof, gone. One example is Distributor. Back in, I believe, mid-2019, Distributor, 
closed up shop with no warning and thousands of filmmakers lost their revenues. We're talking about millions of dollars gone, poof. From what I've been told, the company went bankrupt due in part to bad business practices. This brings me to the last part of your distribution strategy. No, nothing is ever guaranteed. Regardless of any song and dance you may hear during negotiations, do your best to have a void clause in your distribution agreement should your film not be released within a certain time frame. You should also have in your distribution agreement the ability to walk away from the distributor if your film doesn't reach a certain minimum amount. One of the things mentioned throughout this series, Hollywood is about making money. What that truly means, you and I are of little significance to the bean counters and check signers unless we're able to produce something that can be monetized in their best interest, not ours. This is certainly true in the distribution side because billions of dollars every year come directly from distribution. Many creative artisans don't fully understand or open to that line of thinking. This only hinders his or her chances of success, unfortunately, when it comes to deal making and negotiating. So many filmmakers get burned once they're looking for distribution options because they don't always fully understand what they are signing off on. These details can be somewhat confusing or even daunting for some. Believe me, I get it. By this point, you should have an experienced entertainment attorney representing your deal. An experienced entertainment attorney's job is to be your advocate. You want someone who is able to negotiate, or better said, improve a distributor's offer. Getting an entertainment attorney on board ensures you and everyone involved gets the best deal while protecting your project legally and financially. As members of the New Hollywood generation, we are all in it together. Be safe, be smart, and don't forget to be great. More on success in filmmaking, success in life, can be found in Pollyanna's tear-soaked Battlefields of Hollywood, Survival Guide Against the Cynicism and the Hypocritical. I'm going to add a link to the playlist, Filmmaking Essentials, New to Film Distribution, start here. Go check it out. Are you ready for the challenge?